rare one-on-one -on -one sit down with Stephen Ragamarley. White twin of twins, latest Stir It Up is Steering Tears. Come on. Where is Dancehall Artist exclusive? A year after this breakout track. And meet Kim. Kim Nay. Right here on our stage. All coming up and more. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. Reaching more screens around the world every week on stage so much more than entertainment beauty and brains personified add some musical talent and you have our guest in this segment she has put aside her degree in law for a career as a recording artist her experience on the road with billboard chart topper omi perhaps best prepares her for a musical career as a solo artist. She goes by the name Kim Nain, our very special guest right now, right here on stage. Council. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for I'm having kidding. me here, man. How are it's you? It's okay, people call me that all the time. <laughs> yeah. So are you really, are you, were you, not, were you have you practiced? Yes. No, I have not. I haven't gone to bar school, which is additional two years. Mm -hmm. um, I have my law degree, however which prepares me to do the entrance exam. To, yeah, that entrance exam team, please, cut it out, cut it out. Okay, mm -hmm. for, for the bar? For the bar, because they have excluded everybody else outside of persons who studied for their law degree at UA. Okay. So they've excluded everyone else. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so they got to cut that out. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so you're taking a little swipe at, I have to. at the University of the West Indies. Okay, so... Where are you now? How would you describe where you are now in terms of music? I would say I'm still in the developmental stage. Yes. I'm working on, I have tons of new music, tons of content coming out. Yes. But I am working on the marketing and getting my name out there, getting the visuals out there. Not many people know me yet, so that's fine, but I'm getting there, so I'm in that little... So you're sitting on a, a treasure trove of Music? Yes, I am, actually. Produced, recorded music? Produced, recorded, waiting to be released. Wow, so you are defined. Y yes, if you want to put it that way, sure. It's just that we don't know yet. <laughs> just, don't, don't, yeah, it's just that you don't know yet. All right, so we have a video queued up for you. Yes. What, what's the title? The title is Up and Down. Up and Down. Mm -hmm. Let's take it right here. Walk out the yard, I do that, take control, but then you do that. I still need my new heart, and everything I do feel that. You never know me to the whole new town. You never know me to the rock new town. Brush up, paper, 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 and your tongue and eyes fire. Lift you up the room, so you rise up. Higher, so me fling it up. Higher, and me take you up. Higher, 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 higher. Okay. <laughs> Pepper, pepper, up on the tongue <laughs> like fire. No, it's, that's not the title. The title is Up, and, up down. and Down. Actually. But what I'm remembering it's is. Pepper, 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 up <laughs> on your tongue like fire. And it's fine. Okay. It works. I would say, um, you know, sexy dance song with an international flavor. Yes. And if you hear, you can hear some EDM in there as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so we were talking about you. Uh, you're def or you define your music. Okay, well, this it's doesn't define me, yes. if I was to say, because it's more dancehall. It shows more dancehall side. Because, you know, I'm a come from Jamaica. I, wanna, I want to display that influence, too. And I want to also meet that market as well, the local market. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not known as a dancehall artist. I'm a singer and a songwriter. But I can do all these different things. I do EDM, I do R&B, I do reggae. So, you, so how far how are far? you from this? How far, I would say, um, think, you know what, I don't even want to call it a name really because that would define me too, but you can mm -hmm. see me as a Diana King, well, a Diana King of 2017, 2017 Diana King, I'm trying to meet that market that yeah. Sean Paul owe me and Shaggy and a touch have of sampling that. of her in there too. Yeah, yes. well, it's not a sampling, it's me. <laughs> it's not a sample. <laughs> it's, you know, well, from, well, <laughs> well, well. Her, her lyrics, so, her lyrics. Yeah, but her, okay. yeah, her lyrics. Um, yes. The Shy Guy lyrics. Yes. And I'm that, a big fan of Diana King, so. A big Diana King huge, fan. Huge. Okay, got you. Could this very well turn out to be the song that, you know, the breakaway song? It what if that happened? Oh my God. You and the people want more of this. 
you couldn't, you can't deviate, you can, can't go back to no the man, I can't do Diana anything. King. <laughs> no man, I can't, oh, listen, music comes with no limitation, so I'm not trying to limit myself to one particular sound per se, but mm -hmm. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do me as best as possible because I'm influenced by all these different music personalities, genres, I mean, reggae, dancehall, obviously, yes. but then I'm also drawn into R&B, EDM, and hip hop. Okay. So I tried to fuse them, so I created this weird new sound that is not out there yet. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's smart. So. I mean, if that's you, if mm -hmm. that's your vehicle, your platform, and it's your brand, the mainstay in your brand, uh -huh. then maybe you'll, you'll have to, to, to wait before you do the other things. Because so, one, the challenge for young mm -hmm. artists is to define, define self, themselves, to define who you are, your music, how you fit into the global space with so much noise and different sounds. Right. The, the more distinct you are it, as an artist, in my view, the better. I'm just in, and injecting I, and I agree, my view here. And I, and I agree with you. I'm not saying nay to that. Okay. Uh, but um, what we did with Up and Down, because even though it is, it has that dancehall flavor, there is that EDM flavor in it, if you listen as well, because yeah. there's a breakdown. No, I love, I love this song. Yeah. It's a nice yeah, song. I mean, I, I, I love it. I'm, and that's why I'm, it's a very interesting uh -huh. um, song. Talk about your roots for me. My roots. Where are you from? Where, what? I'm from Spanish town, even though people think I come from Upton. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. My bad girl, I'm so long. Okay. I'm joking. But I'm from Spanish Town. I went to St. Diego High. That, that is, that, oh my God, that's where I, that's where music was born for me. Mm -hmm. I was in the choir, all the different choirs, big up Keith Noel. I was a principal at the time. Culture was really embedded in us through that high school. This does not apply just to me. But not to the everybody. general street culture? The, the, not just everything everything okay. because right. um but in school the, the school, school musically itself, musically like when it comes to arts and culture they really pushed you okay. into Diego. yes yeah, saint Diego. Mm. ask chris martin same thing johan okay. blake they know okay. you know so kudos to them for real for real so, so they're contesting where... arden right they're what <laughs> Arden, Arden, hi. Jason's school, my son's school. Okay. <laughs> and more in the, in uh -huh. the building. Yeah. Anyway, so, okay, so you're, you're from Spanish I'm from town. Spanish town. I went to St. Diego. Mm -hmm. I mean, I also have a teacher's diploma too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I, so have you done any teaching? Down, yeah, actually, I have. I, I taught at Arden too. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Okay, but so you um, know what I'm talking about. Yes, I do, actually. Okay. But it was good. Um, other than that, who I am as a person has developed over the years as a result of the different experiences that I've gained, luckily, through friends, through music itself, working with Omi on tour as well was a great experience. I've worked with Tifa too for a short period of time, a number of years ago. So I've been in the music business for a little bit, you know. Um, those are the things that shaped me, I would say. So we're going to leave the rest until you come again. Okay, fine. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> no, you, we, we don't have a choice when, uh -huh. when you're buzzing out there and our fans yes. demand True. that you come back. That's we will have to point. bring you back. That's a good point. It's great having you, though. Thank you for having me. All and the very best. Thank you for having me. We're tracking the career as usual. As, oh, and of follow me on social media, of course. Kim Lane Official on everything. All right, there you have her right here on stage, Kim Name. A very special guest in this segment. Stay with us, still to come. A rare one-on-one -on -one with Stephen Ragamali. White twin of twins latest Stir It Up is staring tears. And where is dancehall artist exclusive a year later? All coming up right here on our stage. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. He got the break in music last summer with this highly controversial single. Big money popping anywhere we go. Big money popping pop a track that a year after Big infiltrating the playlist of all major sound systems is still a must play in the global dancehall space. Despite it's content. Big money popping ain't no stopping. The Big artist we're popping. talking about goes by the name Exclusive, whose life has definitely changed. Exclusive, right now, right here on our stage. 
pleasure being here. Exclusive. Good to have you, sir. Yeah, good so, to be here. So the life change is, we're playing up on words there, because it's a single, a new single that you yeah, have, right? Yeah, a new right? single and a video out for it to us. And, well. and a video. But before we jump there, just talk about the, the negativity of your scammer song. May I call it that, by the way? No, I don't like when I call it that. OK, why? Because yeah. it's not a scammer song. Well, it says scammer there. That's the line. That's, That's a catchphrase, isn't it? There. No. Yes. But alone, people catch on to what another alone is. It's there. a catchphrase. All right. And yes. so it doesn't mean that we're judging you or anything. Yeah, that's true. Uh, as you can see, the song is quite popular. And who are we to even stop it now? Yeah, it's no, it's it a big song. You're again. not here to, to defend uh, your character. Yeah, that's so, true. so, yeah. So, what negatives have you experienced as a result of it? With the song? If any. Mm -hmm. mm, well, not the major, if it affect anything for me. You know, more yes. like unless me have a run in with people on the street and them can say, oh yeah, I scam out the police and at the idea they're still good and say, you know? Because yeah. all it is is a song, right? Yeah, just a song. And where were you in music before that song? I do sing, I do song see me, but not of that topic. Okay. You know, I do some, I have sung like God song and them thing and them never work. No, no, nobody not appeared in mm -hmm. mind before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what made you want to do this particular song? Well, I know it. This song, all right. This song was a dub plate yes. for a selector. I guess that's how he did want this song. And when he played, all of the other selector they want it. So I have to just flip it now in a regular 45 and just start. Make all of them get it just to play it. So the idea was a, a DJ's a idea? Plate, yeah. DJ Pele say he wanted it as a dub plate. So Pele is the owner of the song and the concept. He's the, he's the copyright owner of Not the, the concept, but him saying me that, him give me the rhythm man, and saying me like a dub plate and that rhythm. OK. Yeah. Me never really say, bang at them there or scam at them there at first. OK. Was at a bar and we are listening to the rhythm and we are full run. You know, mm -hmm. me I say, ugly girl there. And my friend that's a pretty girl there. Okay. You know, I just saw where I do it, and I go home and I meditate and I say, let me just sit down and write something, you know? Yeah, well, I really can't work. Oh, and so you wrote, you, you wrote the, the, the lyrics yeah, are yours? Yeah, all right, yeah. Okay. Lyrics. And how big is it now? The song, right. song bigger than me right now. Song that you would just song that I play everywhere, every playlist. You know, that's are you I'm surprised like. about the success? Yeah, I'm surprised, because I said I was something going in the studio, mix and master and everything, and something vice and just say, you know, it's so one shot, I was going in the studio and just vice it mm -hmm. in the street, and the people, they love it. So, so your life has changed? Yeah, man. Significantly? Life fast. Yeah, I have to sing about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so go into details. Tell us about some of the well, changes that it has get, brought to your life. I start getting a lot of bookings right now. Mm -hmm. I hardly do them, you know. Busy every second of the phone ring, studio, from a dub plate. Mm -hmm. Somebody wanted me here a rhythm man. Before that never used to happen. Used to have to have big people for rhythm. Couldn't get a rhythm for voice. Yes. Yes, so I will a change, you know. And and are you traveling and so on? Are you yeah, traveling? Was in Canada I think December. I'm going to Canada again. September twenty third. Trinidad the eighteen and the nineteen of this month, so you know, and belly is hopefully December. So your career now you would say where are you in terms of your career goals? Well, not where I want to be, but not where I used to be, so I'm grateful, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a good look. Okay, so you're following through, and this song, this, this life changer, <laughs> the life change, yeah. is your follow-up single to that? This yes, is that's what the one you... I drop after. I have another one called Ghetto Anthem. Yes. They're both doing well, but the life change, I have a video for it, so, you know? All right, let's take the video, right? Life get to you, some life out there for man live. Remember me, I tell you. Some life out there for man live. If nobody never tell you no. Some life out there for man live. No make them spend shell no. Some life out there for man live. Some life out there for man live. Yeah. Life okay, remember me I tell you no. Some life out there for man live. Yes, a great message. Life changes the title, and it's coming from exclusive. And I would think that I would like to say, change life. Flip it around a little bit yeah. to say it to youths, um, to see it that way, and to take a, a take a, a take your words and prepare themselves. And so ready, we are to take advantage of the opportunities that exist everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And I'm talking especially to 
ghetto youths, inner city yeah, youths, poor yeah. youths all over the country. Yeah, some life out there, them live. And, and stop looking at, looking out, look in first and then... Yeah, can remember some could have got big money popping part few, you know. But yeah. we never do that. To show them a different side and make them know, say, you know. Yeah. Now you're, yeah. you're coming... Positive, as straight. Total opposite comments. of that, yeah, you're yeah, saying yeah. to youths, youths, mm -hmm. life out there for live. Just the most you them can't say is you don't go live no life. That's all them can say. So I hope them give this the love that they give to the, the yeah, money puppy. Yeah, <laughs> all right, so who were you before all of this? Um, this yeah. You were touching on it earlier on, um, but go deeper now and tell us where you're from in Jamaica exactly and right. what are some of the struggles you've had as a youngster living, living yeah. here, growing up and so on. All right, I'm from Senton, Steertown to Brownstone. Okay. You know? Growing up when my little used to go with my grandmother still. Mm -hmm. You know? No light. People would even believe that. Buckle lamp settings my tell about yeah, Alexandra them mm -hmm. side there. Deep in the country and then my mother did get to when she young, you know. She the Kingston and then forward for her with the Kingston too. Reach what? Grade three now. Mm -hmm. Senton again. And from there so steer town comes straight up. Till I move to Brownstone. I currently live at Brownstone right now. You know, so. And the, the schooling? Went to Steertown Primary and Junior High, and then went to High, mm -hmm. then Brownstone Community College. So yeah. what were you aiming to be? Construction, my dad, but when I check you out, and I said, no, I can't manage anything. Eh, me, yeah, construction. Construction never you... work out. I only tried mechanic, then I said, mm, too greasy. Just, you know, step Too greasy? Side, yeah, man, and then I get too greasy. <laughs> so, yeah, <man. laughs> No, but you can't. Yeah. No, man, but hello. Mechanic is, is a very well respected yeah, yeah, me, yeah, profession. Yeah, 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 me know that. And pays well, it. too. Yeah, but. Big up every mechanic out yeah, there, sir. Big up brother is a mechanic. Yeah, mechanics yeah, are well paid, you know. Yeah, that's And construction, true. too. Yeah, but. Construction so, so and an ordinary thing, you know. We're not cut out for a thing, you know. Because my bridge in them said, I'm going to do mechanic. I say, yo, I'm going to do mechanic, too. Same. So all of us go to mechanic class. Okay. So, yeah, but he never. So when did the music now? The music bug. When did that? What? When was no, that? Me, me, used, me love music yes. from me go primary. Cause my father used to have a car and go sound clash with. Mm -hmm. You know, so we couldn't get to go sound clash. Cause you know, I be, a, you know, dirty music play and things. So he would have picked up now when him, and we see my drive past the sound clash and we not care. I say, but I want to go sound clash. You know, cause me I was here my tune up in the sound. You know, in the car from home and thing and me never really get to go. So me have a love for music and. But my friend, I go primary too. Like, you know, it was a knock bench and them thing mm -hmm. there. You know, a vice song. And I used to sing over some whole time, bunty and them. And them. I say, my friend, they never know the killer them in a car. My father played them. So me listen to them. I go to school now and introduce them. When they knock bench and I introduce them, bunty killer them. I say, are you Bill Lott? Are you Bill Lott? I say, yeah, man, I'm Bill, you know. <laughs> you know, I may take you all like a clash. I may tell them, I'm Bill, some old cabra and them thing there. Yeah. Tell them, I'm Bill, them and when they clash them and them look at things there. So mm. I go to high school now, about grade eight, me start. Right now, when I look about Joe's lyrics, you know what I mean? Yeah, till, you know, the music was growing on me. And, yeah, man, I kind of master my craft right now. What exposure did you get in the community, in your community? All right, certain time people have crowned me king a long time. Because you know, like, you have a little song where hit, but you only hit in your ear. You know, that song hit mm. in your house, all your family members. So they endorse you like that? Yeah, man, they send it around. And recognize that you have it? Yeah, I used to say, as. Based on this, them like sentence on them. Same. Yeah, from a god, I'm saying, you know, sentence you, them now go each plate. Same, same. You see me? So. So, and then now they, you've tried a lot of different themes and topics. Yeah, whole heap of topic, man. People go, all right, I have a song now named Brew Me. I have a song from about 2013. And I go, when I go to Canada last year, and I perform all of my songs, and I never do that song. The camera says, an old song, and nobody don't know it. Yes. I say, all right. And I close the set. Somebody say, we want your brew me. We want. <laughs> People start to them, want your brew me. The previous catalog is that play right now? The whole what you had? Yeah. Those songs yeah, that them everybody rejected. Yeah, song right now. Especially overseas, the people them love them. Ah. All right, exclusive. So we life change is your your big thing out there now, and yeah, we man, hope it gets the them. love that it deserves. Yeah. And thank you, sir, for coming right, through and sharing people with us. Look out for your next banger, you know. Yes. One more banger here. Okay. Ready for well, the still. well, them I search you up here now, you know. Ah. <laughs> Some life out every man live. Make them spend shallow no. Exclusive underscore music, right? X K L U S I V E underscore music. All right, exclusive. Yeah. On our stage. Stay with us, still to come, Stephen Marley. Can I get some of your love? And later, the twin of twins on family. 
You don't want to miss that. All coming up. You know, man, I'm afraid to tell you the truth. You know, boy can't drink me. I'm a living room, in it. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. One of the biggest winners of summer 2017 is Stephen Ragamarley. Welcome to Jamaica, brother. <laughs> I feel at home already. This, as Pitbull's options featuring the second generation Marley, is one of the biggest forward getters of the season in the global reggae dance hall space. Post his appearance at Reggae Sumfest, the eight-time Grammy-winning Marley sat down with us at 56 Hope Road in Kingston. The revolutionaries, you know? You know? You know? All right, Steven, thanks for having us, yeah, sir. Yeah, Good to be here. And congrats on the Sunfest appearance and the performance. From Jungle to Rima, It was, in my view, a, a very timely coming home, so to speak. How, yeah. do, you, how do you see it? Same, sir. Yeah, yeah same, sir. Happy for come play, you know, a mm. set. Yes. Even though a short set for myself, but happy for come play a set for the people because they, they don't get to see. That side regular. Yes. Yeah, regularly. And at a time when there is a big song that is yeah. um, as big in Jamaica as it is elsewhere. Yeah. Massive song <laughs> for you in yeah. Jamaica. How does that make you yeah. feel? Nice son, good vibe. Yes. You know, we love when the people love what we do. Yes. We love when the people appreciate our efforts and our works. So mm -hmm. makes us happy. And it's a collab with a big superstar, yeah. a big pop star yeah. in the world. Yeah. Uh, Pitbull. Yeah. Talk about that relationship with you. How did that come about? All right. Well, Pitbull come check we in, um, in the States and did a song on my album. Mm -hmm. Song, when she dances, yeah, she's the only star that shines. So me and him did a tune there and in return, I did a song with him on okay. his record, which is I got, I got, I got, I got, mm -hmm. I got. Yeah. So. That's how that happened. But, baby, you sweating who? You talking about such and such? Who tries to be you? What has it done to your already busy schedule? Well, you don't know. For the most part, me, you know, me dictate my things. Yes. Uh, for his schedule, it kind of, you know what I mean? He's out, he's out there now. I went, when we go with him, um, we did the wrestling thing with him, which... Mm -hmm. You know, more than normally got this like, play music in you know, a okay. wrestling um, setting. And I did the Miss USA pageant thing with him, which again, you know, my normal thing either. So mm -hmm. it kind of carried me to some unique places where, again, they love the song and they appreciate the collaboration and, you know. So it turned his schedule upside down, technically. Yeah, yeah. He's he, he busy with it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So t talk a little bit about your ghetto you project. I know that there is a rhythm. I've been here quite a few times since November and kind of re-energized myself with, with mm. the foundation and the people and just the energy car. It's been four years since I've been here. The last time you see me, I was on tour. Yeah, yes, yeah, in, uh, on the West Coast, yeah, yes, yeah, in, in yeah. LA, yes. Yeah, so it was good for them and re-energize and get, you know, the foundation vibe. So through that, we kind of inspired for Vice up some youth and just keep the energy going. And speaking of Catch a Fire, that time we spoke, yeah. right? <laughs> you were concerned about reggae and its status in the world and you yeah. were, and yourself and, and the rest of, and, and Damien were yeah. adamant that boy. I went out into Rome and I'm here to report right now that they are collectively making a name for themselves with our music. You yeah. wanted to, to, to make sure that the reggae, reggae stays here and reggae is still Jamaica yeah. and, and all of that. Where is that now? How do you feel now, uh, what, two years later? Yeah, definitely, I mean, it's important to understand without the foundation, the tree are gonna fall mm -hmm. while others sit on the branches and where the music come from is the root. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. which is Jamaica. Yes. Is is I and I at the root, as as the gang say. You know, and I mean it it is it is great to see the music influence people from all walks of life mm -hmm. and and people start benefit from the music yet you know they do justice where the root deserve mm -hmm. sometimes it kind of overlook because the branch is so pretty and yeah. you know so that that's all we, we, we want to make sure say we collectively as the place and the people where this music come from understand the value mm -hmm. And, and the concept of preserving that. And wherever it's going, we're there, you say. Isn't that, isn't yes. that the ultimate of course. What, what of you course. want to achieve? Of course. So do you see progress over the last two years, three years, in terms of that? Do you see Jamaicans coming forward and, and, and rising to the occasion, so to speak? Yes, definitely there is progress, you know? Um, the youth them, mm -hmm. the youth them, where, where overs that understand that the concept of yo without a root the tree with us yes you know what i mean and you have youth like jesse protect all of them youth uh, will come f and, and uh, um help preserve that that vibration you know mm -hmm. that vibration there within the music you know what i mean so that is a great thing for, you know so well who them inspire and it helps to preserve. Yes. Yeah. On the dancehall side, we see where dancehall is big and mainstream. Yeah. Lots of sampling going on and yeah. so on, but we're not seeing enough Jamaicans fronting that. What, what's your comment on yeah. how, how do you see this? Well, you know, we need to question ourselves. Ah. And if we take a page from, from those that are successful with, with our vibration and, and can help put mm -hmm. it on the mainstream, if we fi find out what they might do so, different and right that, you know, it is being recognized in the mainstream. Yes. When, when we do it, it couldn't the music, it must something else. Mm -hmm. so yeah, because in my view, I don't yeah. think it's talent. Yeah. I think right. we have the talent here. Right. There's no, and nobody's right. questioning that, but there is some underlying other reason yeah. which we're trying to pinpoint as yeah. to why they prefer to use the mainstream brands, Justin Bieber, Drake, and these big brands yeah. to carry dancehall, yeah. in particular dancehall, yeah. and not the Jamaican youth. What is it that, and you, you've touched on it, yes, we need to address you what see, it takes to be mainstream and so on, but is that all? You, you see, mainstream is not a violent place. Mainstream is not a, a vulgar place. It's, it, it, it's, there are certain criteria, you know what I mean? It's not just, Bat up and catch if you know notice who kinda cross that bridge, Sean. Um mm -hmm. and them cheerleader and them mm -hmm. kind you know, our music we not a we that same way you know. Yes. But it's a certain formula. Because it don't bend for anyone, does it? No. Mainstream is, no, is a, what it is. Yeah, you know, and I just saw. So sometimes we have a kind of wonder where we are the wrong versus yo, who come we, we have to figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know? Because we still have a, a division within ourselves where it's hindering. Yes. Right, because collectively you can move together as a fraternity because you have, a, you, have you know, just little habits and ways where that don't work in a, in a big league. Right. You know, and your work speak for yourself, not your ego and certain things where you kind of put up in front and you're cloaking you know, so. mm -hmm. Your talent. Yeah. So. Put it in front. Yeah. And don't and it, it the mainstream is not gonna take all that you can you can right. what, it's not everything you think of it when it means you're gonna swallow it right. because you're an artist. Right. And and yeah, it's a talk because we see where our Jamaican youths have, have created a, um, a in particular dance hall, trending and yeah. and, and, and so so irresistible that mainstream young kids looking for, for especially dance tracks yeah. will go to dance hall and they, they go to the Jamaican club they sample it yeah. and so much so that mainstream artists now start to sample themselves and putting it in the right because of the the vibe it creates right. when you play right and yet so it's that good in terms of the concept right the lyrics right. The, 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 the construct right. but not good enough it would appear for to bring through the creators and so, you're right, 
shouldn't we now be looking more closely at ourselves and how we behave and and the, the real way mainstream um, consume music and what they want and what they will take with it yeah. and won't take with it and you touch on it yeah it is not a violent place no a big talk that no yeah, but the truth <laughs> you know yeah and the truth yeah the truth so that kind of stigma mm -hmm. as well you know yeah with them know of what the world know of our music you know is love mm -hmm. is is a is is a peaceful music is a happy music mm -hmm. you know what i mean so yeah and if they now get that from we them start do it themselves mm -hmm. and enjoy themselves with it so you know we have to check ourselves Absolutely. Yeah, we have to check ourselves. So, so what can you tell us about upcoming projects, things that we don't know that's happening under uh, the quiet? Right, well, right now, it's all about Stony Hill. Yes? Yeah, and that's what we wanted to know. Okay, so the entire yeah. crew is yeah. is focused on of, that? Of course. Yes. You know what I mean? That's of course, is the Damien, yeah. Damien Junior Gong album, yeah. the big one, yeah. <laughs> Stony Hill. Yes. Yeah, man, long time we await, you know? Yeah. For, for, offering like that so that's that's where the I'm energy is, is going to be behind yeah, that yeah, right now yeah okay and yeah. the third generation the yeah the the joe mercer yeah. and skip and them yeah. talk about them what, what's well, happening with them everyone right now i get them little projects together i must say quite impressively mm -hmm. you know look forward for, for um bring that forward to the world and thing joseph doing thing you know skip are doing thing very nice and, mm -hmm. you know it, it's growing brother it just seemed to be in my view this is my own yeah. little humble opinion now yeah. Stephen, that the marley brand the, the whole yeah. marley family everything is gelling everything is coming yeah. together nicely yeah the same thing you, you spoke about when we talked back in la yeah much of that now it seemed to be materializing yeah. right now in terms of the, the legitimacy and authenticity that the Marley brand brings to reggae yeah. and that you guys could make a decision when yeah. you did yeah. to stamp your name and your brand on it. Yeah. I believe that it is now paying off yeah. and the world is now taking stock and say, okay, whatever we were up to, yeah. the Marleys are in yeah. or uh, the Marleys are on the Jamaican side. Yeah, of course. <laughs> the Marleys are on the Jamaican side. Yeah. So, you know, you have that to contend with. Yeah. And I also will commend you for putting your brand on the Reggae Sunfest project, yes. regardless of who is behind it. Right. It is, it, is, it is the biggest platform, in my view, right now right. for dancehall. Right. And if not reggae, reggae was always safe. Right. But dancehall was struggling. Right. There's no big 15,000, 18,000, 20,000 right. crowd anywhere right. Right. for dancehall. And right. for it to be coming out of yard looking the way it did. Yeah. I think it's a big win for yeah, that song. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I was happy for be a part of that. Yes. And like just just like you said, for what it mean, you know? It is definitely a flagship um festival for reggae mm -hmm. coming out of Jamaica. Yes. You know what I mean? As the place where yes. this music is created from. We have all different kind of festivals where where reggae festivals all over the world mm -hmm. and definitely the place where the music come from is only right for have a grand festival to as make well. a statement yeah you know yeah so in in that respect i was glad for, for, for play my part oh, yeah. for strum my guitar mm -hmm. in recognition of that of who we are and where the music come from you know of course and it shows how far you guys will go to yeah. to stamp to give support and and it's another yeah. endorsement and, yeah. or confirmation affirmation of your own seriousness about that yes. that move yes. and I don't know if everybody understand it yeah. I got it when yeah. you and Damian told me yeah. backstage yeah. in LA yeah. what it was and I right. I came back and reported it and I think Jamaicans should take stock of it yeah. because it's very easy yeah. for reggae to be lost definitely and everybody's doing it definitely. and they don't know care where you come from definitely you know what I mean definitely so it, it's an important move and I think my friend it's working magic and this moment that we're in yeah is a manifestation yeah. with the winds that we're seeing now coming out of Jamaica that big sunfest 
and I just saw Dream Weekend with dancehall artists on it and nice again people go back home those Wonderful, who came home man. from that yeah, feeling man. good about yeah, it man. I won't take no more your time yeah, Steve thank you brother thank you so, so much sir for yeah. having us right here at 56 Hope That's Road right. yeah. the headquarters of the the Marley brand <laughs> And speaking of Stony Hill, that's an epic work of art by Junior Gong, in my view, that truly deserves your ears. Believe me. Stay with us, still to come right here on stage. White Twin of Twins' latest Stir It Up is stirring tears. You don't want to miss that. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Twin of Twins Stir It Up series has over the years stirred up much laughter as their comedic satire delves into Jamaican and dance all issues of the day. You know, man, I'm afraid to tell you the truth, you know, kind of boy can't drip me in a living room, in it. However, their latest volume, dubbed Family, has been inducing much deeper emotions. We don't have too much American Idol. Where do Idol lies? Emotions that reportedly bring tears in some instances. The twins on our stage right now. Gentlemen, blessed, blessed love, sir. So can you confirm that the, the, the uh, this volume is a tear jerker? Definitely. You know, crazy feedback, be a people that tell me, say, yo, you know, because no people think I just say bingy or I aspect of it. You understand? Mm. We have hardcore criminal show to you, and I say, John was stars like it, express certain things where them not have the word for you express. I'm going to say, I'm listening to the 14 and colleagues then. Yes. And him baby mother, where him and her always like him can't reach her a certain way, and he must say, the uncle sucks part, make him ball with the beating in her lane. Because that express exactly how he want to feel, and this was the first time in a female entire relationship with she that she fully start to understand him. Mm -hmm. You understand? So what made you want to go here, where you are, with this particular volume? Yeah. It's just a mood. It's a mood. It's not necessarily a change. Sometimes you decide to do something different. It's not necessarily a, a, a change from one thing to the other. It's just okay. that you are versatile enough to input how you feel now in the project. And then the thing is, yeah. you know, is you just do it. You know, sometimes how it end up is how people really take it and them determine what it really is. You yes. know what I mean? The spirit will guide me if you say, okay, cool, this is going to be the narrative, this is going to be the storyline, this is going to be the... You know what I mean? All me do I get that instruction if you do it. All we do I just do that. So it's a mood. You understand? Among you. So yeah. it's, it's, in a sense, speaking to your own experiences. Yes. You know what I mean? Come on from my whole life experiences. You understand? Because tell you what, um, you know, be, you know, we experience so much things, good and bad, you okay. know? And it come off of certain choices when we make mistakes when we make certain kind of way. You know what I mean? In terms of like, you know, so it's like everybody know, know a big girl, everybody know a big girl. You know yes. what I'm saying? So it's not like, you know, this is a thing where it, it come out of my stupidity too, when we make foolish decisions. You know what I mean? But you are instead of hide it. Instead of like, oh, I'm going to pretend, say, you know, this ego thing. You know, listen to ego. You know, me just do it and just say it's not that serious. You understand? And put that into the work and it result in a way it result in. So it's, it's, it's introspective. Yes. Yeah. It's looking back at your journey and who you are and where you are. Yeah. You know, and what's, what are some of the issues and, and so on impacting life nice. right now in our, in our city, in Jamaica. In our society, in our world. And you're, you're just saying, look here, this one, we're just going to express ourselves? This is what it's going to be because you are now, you are too. So especially with the Jamaican culture right now, honestly. Yes. Things based upon... You know, certain in outside influence just get too fake. Yeah, really fake. If you notice a four year one, a drop. You know, because if you notice Twin of Twins, real. Yes. It, it, my work has come from a real place that's sold it, a cord. Mm -hmm. Everything now staged. All right, for example, I'm going to call this now, like when you're going out and dance, for example, as a man. You see a girl and you say, Whoa, hot, you know, ready. You go, so, boy, man, make a move, everything work out for you, and then. When you reach home and the makeup come off, mm -hmm. no good, none at all, problem. <laughs> <laughs> you see me? I say, I guess I dance all reach now because too much fake people in you know, the forefront. Most okay. of who them are gida, you know what I mean? They really, them not do it from, from spirit. Most people are thinking about money now, money, mm -hmm. sport, anything where 
anything that's been done solely for the purpose of achieving money will never be done the right way. Never. In a life, in a For example, a woman there with you and the money she there with you for. When the money done, she gone. What part of the work of this volume moves you most? That, that tough question. Personally, yeah. <laughs> that tough question, because for me personally, would that be the, 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 the anchor stocks and munchy thing? The whole, um, the struggle we have mm -hmm. for make sure reach, for make, for reach her in a certain way, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The emotional abuse a woman show up on the man them more time and then throw your money after just suck it up, you know what I mean? And then it come out wrong. That for me personally, that's my part. As I say, you write a script where you have to behave a certain way. Yeah. You can't ball, you can't do certain things. We make them powerful, by the way. You can't be no I am sorry person. You can't be that person that we sit down and say you need to talk. The culture be life has some falsities where we subject you to slavery, but we don't realize that. Okay. You understand? So it's like, you know, the youth, them, them want to express themselves a certain kind of way, you know, but it, the culture where we grew up under, three yeah. quarters at a time. Tell us that we have to behave a certain way, and that is the way to be a man, and it's a lie. And also the normalizing of domestic abuse, you know what I mean? Some women yes. get beaten till it does normal to them, you know what I mean? Those are the parts for me where really touch me, you know what I mean? And then it, the whole bingy right part, everybody knows so that. And, and you know. you, you're calling out these things in there, and, and these are social constructs yes. mm -hmm. that are being looked at. That, People like you are tearing now. Yeah, and, and understanding. Yeah, and the, the normal man. And this finding this, a new place now. Yeah, this is why the people in this is why Spirit of Volume Eleven family resonate mm. with the people in so much because you wanna know, remember say my story and not just my story, you know, cause every man can relate. Thing come off of the choices where they make. Mm -hmm. yes. You understand? So if you make certain choices that will lead to certain consequences. Mm -hmm. And the next man make the same choice to lead to the same consequence. So when you speak of those consequences, he more can relate. So yeah. most people can relate to the whole of this so, thing. So isn't it a big question shoot. about how did I come by these, this behavior, mm -hmm. the way I behave? Mm -hmm. Isn't that a big question that you are now asking? Are you stimulating people definitely. to ask? Definitely, yeah, definitely. How Seriously, did I come to, to, to embrace certain value, certain value system? How did I come to be what I am and, and what I find that I cannot resist? Well, isn't that a question that... Well, I guess the real people ask yes. that, but people struggle with two selves, you know? Yes. The self will say hide. Mm -hmm. The self will say, oh, somebody else to be blamed. Mm -hmm. the, the choices that you make is, is the next man fight. Fight you with me, have the money, I fight me. All of your problem them where you are, the people them understand, say, are you? It's your choice that lead to those consequences. Mm -hmm. Most, couple of you, couple of people, most, you know, some people where the CD reach the right and proper way are now looking into the facts. So, hold on, I really me responsible for it. And that is how the CD deal with. Mm -hmm. So, the people that were still hide now for them thing not cool again. Mm -hmm. Because first thing you have to realize, see the family? Yes. The family are where it starts. And that's where you develop from. And that's where you get your identity from. Your community. Yeah. The people who are around you constantly. Mm -hmm. What they believe three quarters of the time away, you are going to end up believe. And your group has a big idiot three quarters of the time. And you are going to make your pit them become a big idiot. Mm -hmm. And you are going to ignorant to the facts that you make your pit them become a big idiot. What? Who, 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 how much are we grow up and the parents are telling us, stop in eyes and you chat too much. Mm. You yeah, eat that in our sense. Go one side. These are the things we build with esteem or lack thereof, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. You understand what I say? So these are the little nuances we need to come out of our culture and create better people. We need to go within and recreate and reshape the way we see the world because the way we see the world determines who we are in it. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the family is the nucleus of... Of Good. your identity. Good. And, but isn't it something that you could challenge? And even, you, couldn't you challenge family if it's wrong? Couldn't it be wrong, family? Could um, family, that could nucleus of, yeah, yeah. of who you are, be wrong? wrong. Right, right, in wrong right. in terms of its value systems? It, it, it never was, was, was good for childbearing and for, for nurturing and bringing progressive people. To, yeah, but I that myself. to the space. Remember saying you know, from way down back in a slave master, maybe even beyond. Yes. You create two idiots yes, mm -hmm. Same. And the two idiots believe, say them are idiots. They are going to impart the idiotness to them, pick them. Mm -hmm. Yes. They are going to tell them, pick them, become an idiot because they don't know that they are idiots. So part mm -hmm. of the deconstruction mm -hmm. ought to, be, to include the family too. Family. Then we that's must, what yes. So you want to know, we didn't cause you want to know, me growing up as a youth. Mm. Me have parents where I see the mistakes where they're making them. And I see how important yeah. it was for them bring that stupidity there. 
in my life, you know, our life, you know. And what? There is always something in you know, every human. We tell you what tell is right foolishness. And wrong. We tell you what is right yes. and wrong, you know. I mean, I didn't know it in myself when my mother talked about it. You know, so that makes no sense. And my father talked some bugger thing and I said, who the system? The government, who you got dead? We're not going to survive. Right. Oh. right around the clock. I didn't know, said, this is foolishness, you know. Mm. This is foolishness. Yeah, when, when, when we are you to our father tell you, sir, you know. Rich are dead and poor are dead. I mean, tell him, say, hey, I want rich, you know. And me dead, I figure out that part then. <laughs> of course. You understand me? <laughs> so it's like, yeah. Yeah. from early, yeah. you can reorganize who you are because you have no. You enough people don't understand. I'm a mother that, or I'm a father that, or I'm a cousin that, or I'm a brother that. I'm not going to fight my thing. I'm not going to try to bring. I tell you, are people then. Mm -hmm. Sometimes your biggest family are who you meet along the way, you know. Yeah. Yeah? Because no five times since we go to a town, big artist, and I go on. Some family where I don't know if I know where they write, I just know say my family, that's all. I don't mean, grow with them. Mm -hmm. Me and them not close now, nothing. Then all of a sudden, phone and call and make, ooh, them boy, the switch. Them boy, the rear. Me and them, my cousin, look how I'm doing. I saw XY. I don't know you're not know, dog. Mm -hmm. You understand what I say? So look into what I say. Yeah. Family, enough people put too much interest in a title. Mm -hmm. Okay, so family. Action. They... It's, it's, it's how you are, not who you are. Okay. That may determine who you are. So, Alpha. The, the product, the product family now, yes. it, it, how is it doing in comparison to previous works? Um, Billboard. Billboard, <laughs> so, oh yeah. Oh, congrats on that. Yeah, give yeah. thanks for brother, man. Number congrats, seven. man. Congrats on the Billboard number achievement. Seven. Yeah, yeah. Number seven on Billboard. Yeah, number seven. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as we now have to talk, it speaks for itself. You know what I mean? But you know, what it is all about, you know, the deconstructing. You know, you, you have people who make money off of ignorance. So those are the people who control mainstream, mm -hmm. and they're not going to really like that, and they're not going to push that. But just like um, many youths say, just like the CDs say, talk foolishness and do foolishness. No, those but are the things sometimes you know, well, that's, that's Some really these... very good news, you know, um, that your CD, this particular, this family volume, yeah. is doing so well, because that, those powerful messages yeah, right. that you have in it, it means that it's, people are listening. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, definitely. And that's why it's being consumed and purchased to the point where it's number seven on Billboard. That is, is, is good news Great. for all of us. Yeah, that's right. why we know so we're going to survive as you so mentioned. The survival is guaranteed. So it's up to us, eh? Yeah, man. And it's been touted as the best one so, so far, far and like the biggest thing. And then here we are again. As I will tell you, it's always those fans who are not we I can't see the regular people. Because this time again, even though it's a four year mm. one to drop, yeah. this time again it was like a next older person, like 80 odd. And then yeah. you, have, you have some youth, <laughs> say, you have a youth and a girl for four years straight. Every man in my way, I say, please, on my WhatsApp. Yeah, man, please. Do you envision um, this, this Stir It Up series um, becoming? Visual, audio visual, <laughs> All right. visual, a movie, movie yeah, project. All, All the time, from day one to now. Kayo, yeah. we personally, we have the vision for over how much years now? I mean, even we can't even count. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? We've been trying. This is one of the problems in a Jamaica, too, for work amongst ourselves. Because you have, no matter which enemy we have outside, we have to forgive those enemies. It's business. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's never going to change. But you see, we as self in other industry come out of the ghetto with, with so much brilliance. Mm -hmm. The problem is we is this individualism. Mm -hmm. Every man want to run out. He want to mm -hmm. be the only person who get the highlight or the glory. That's the problem. When we go to a woman go to a youth, don't go watch it. I don't even call him name. And say, we want because we like your animation. Yeah, yeah, and do some good animation. Mm -hmm. Great animation. And we say, yo, that, this is from Street of Volume 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we've been checking other people before that. Same result. I would say, all right, cool. Are you there? I'm more sensible because I'm thinking look sensible. Upon the net, we go, we'll reach out to him. Say, yeah, we'll link up and we meet. Boom, bam, bam. Yes, my youth. Long story short. You're going to do this. You do this and we're going to do a business partnership. Mm -hmm. and you know, don't So know. basically, we put in the talent and you put, and in, put in the, the yeah. animation. And the animation. And then That's we come big together deal. and eat some food. Yeah, yeah the youth. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, work, dog. <laughs> I love the idea. Oh. But yeah. Them time, so the say, excitement for we gone so to the So we say, room. yes. Them boy, I can't ramp with them, man. A long time they youth them fit. Show so we can do certain things. Power own. We don't need no outside influence. We are coming to water them with things. And show we say, all right, X and Z and Ray. Because outside influence is always welcome. If you're willing to be a, what I call an investor. Mm -hmm. Of course. And you, you're investing in the product in its entirety, in its, yes. in its spirit, yeah. without trying to change it. Mm -hmm. But we come to the youth and say, I'm going to bring it to them now. And them, we take it to a level as our own self, as get to you to come out of the garrison and say, my boy, I'm going to call him for two weeks. Never three. get him. Never get him yet. I say, what is I want to the youth? I want to go on. Ring. No, I'm saying, all right. You know, so I can't answer full, full. Two weeks straight, I call one man. Next phone. Mm. Next number. 
Answer. <laughs> Bless. Mr. So Wagwan, man, I'm call every two weeks. Wait, 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 this, that, 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 that. John ODG, a star, yo. You don't know, so I can't, you know, bother with that thing, the dog. I bet you give me 1,200 US per minute. We're talking about a one hour one, and 40 minutes. Minute. Minute. Sure. Yes. I just bet you give me that and go on, you know, DJ, and just call it a day, you know, and I do it, I do it, I do it, I partnership, I bring it to you, you know, and I say X, Y, Z. So I said, John, brother, when I look into this... And this are the same person who take pieces of our CD Good. them and animate them and put them up. Every, that's what I saw come and define him. Mm -hmm. He animate everything or we drop. Short-term thinking, we have to stop it. Mm -hmm. We have to stop them thing there and work together. Because and it's the also, people it's them, also up to the media to mm -hmm. promote some real youth boy. Yeah. Cause guess what go on? Me live for see the media. They online now. I do I do journalism, you know. Mm -hmm. Online, yes one donkey a race and me look. I do, I hit the media at all, but nobody now go out again and actually leave them place and I do proper journalism in you know, a brother. Proper research. Well to me, Beijing, and and it doesn't have to be rushed. They you're sitting on movie scripts. Well, yeah, man. hit movie scripts. Yes, and as we say from where they we don't really talk certain things. In the things context of again. Jamaican culture, and it will happen, I believe. Yeah, yeah man. man. We're linking like Indian youth from it India. It is happening. Well, there you for go. The, for the animation, what do you say, me go? India. Yeah, India. Man. I don't do me no one do it yourself. All right. Twin, nothing can stop you, man. When? <laughs> no, never. Never, man. The work is... We keep it forward. It's ascending, mm -hmm. and, and no matter what. It, and the, the projects are always... Um, Interesting and unpredictable. I've got teamwork again because I know one done this and I said tough crackers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the youth there, when it comes to like the, the bleaching and night and engineering staying up and really focus and commit to the engineer aspect, because an artist, you know. Mm. But it's a youth that can compartmentalize. It's okay. a wicked engineer by the next side. Mm -hmm. And I him basically make the stereotype of them really possible because when it, the way him works, sometimes it drive me past the limit. Mm. Drive me when me feel like I want to sleep. Mm. The dog just there with that good energy and just say, yo, make it work. Right now, we talk about the exact way. A big up all right, it's them same way. Mm. You don't know again. Jabbar, aka Elijah. Kingston 13. Kingston 13. 13. You don't know Zion Room Records. You know oh. what I mean? Red Hills, you know, don't know. Do this something every day. You know what I mean? It's a team effort. Everything works off a team. It's not one person. Big up all right, so keep know. that spirit. Good thought. All right, so that's it. The twins right here on our stage in this segment, Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. This owner gonna shop with me out of my bed. Just in time for see police car and a friend. Them kick him down and put a gun to him head and say, Where they gun them, they little dirty dread. Why you use the robot and run through the red thread, say? The system not broke no bread. If life so hard, then no better if me dead. And what? I suspect you like that video. For more, click and be on our stage always.